welcome to my youtube channel my name is Nkosa Zana Avuyonge Mchazi um this is my youtube channel i also go by the name diy princess you can also find me on instagram as diy princess um underscore Nkosa Zana Ko. so welcome to my channel if you're a returning subscriber welcome my faves if you are new to this channel welcome fave to be part of the family do not forget to sub click on the subscribe button and also click on the notification bell so that you can get um notifications every time i upload thank you so much for coming back and tuning back into um, my channel um so this topic is very long overdue um and the main reason for that is um i just wanted to share this information um the main reason for me creating this video is because um, when I was embarking on the journey of becoming a Makoti, um, I also was looking up um, um, on, on the internet and just asking questions from a lot of people um, in preparation for the journey. Um, so I thought, let me just share what I also learned along the way in case someone might need this video. So do stay tuned and I hope you enjoy it. Um, so basically, um, how I prepared to become a Makoti. So first of all, I'm married into a Kosa family. I'm also Kosa. So I'm, I, I basically, um, the experiences that I'll be sharing here, some of them will be only relevant to the culture that I'm married into. Um, but then some of the things might also help out. But it's basically generic stuff that I'll be talking to about. So it's not really specific to the culture, to the Kosa culture only. Um, so basically, um, just personally, my preparation was to just find out what marriage is to me. Um, so just taking time out to just sit down and just um, define what marriage is to me. You know, what am I um what am i expecting from marriage and also um what 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 i think it is what am i getting myself into you know just finding out what that is so i did a lot of research about that and um my research was mainly guided by counseling so we did counseling um we did counseling leading up to the day we got married so we did counseling for that which helped so if you can do premarital counseling um you can even do it way before thinking of the date actually you don't have to do it when you set the date and then do premarital counseling because there's different types of counseling so um we did that um that was very helpful just getting um just getting um ideas you know like a, a glimpse of what um you are getting yourself into or what you're preparing yourself for um so that's what i did on the personal side of things i also um consulted um my parents as well also consulted my married friends just to get a glimpse you know just have a community of people you speak to ask questions it just helps calm you down you know um because honestly even if you're going to start a new job move into a new city you just want to get a glimpse of what you're getting yourself into so do that um feel free to do that create yourself a community people are always willing to help um um so basically that's what i did on the personal side of things as i did mention you can never be 100 percent um prepared to become a makoti but also um there's always something you need to do on your side as well to get um like as you prepare to become a maggot but um also i wanted to mention that if you're a christian um your devotional life is so important it grounds you throughout it's a very stressful process there might be a lot of opinions people might have advices and all that but it's so important to pray for the spirit of discernment just being grounded because at the end of the day um you need to take care of your well-being and honestly on my side just being grounded taking time to do devotions praying about the whole process helped me a lot so i'd advise you continue to do that if you are doing that um yeah so let's get um into the actual um preparations of becoming emma Kurt. 
So first of all, preparing for women base. So, so there's a gifting ceremony that takes place when you are a Magode. I have tips on that, on what you can do. So what happens is that um, my family, which is the bride's family, gifts the groom's family. So my family um, gifted Ngubo's family. Um, so what usually happens there is that um, the groom's family gives you the list of people that you will be gifting. So just a word of advice there, um, you will get, you get the list from your husband's side um, and they know best. You, all you need to do is just get advice from them, get, sorry, um, just ask for the list from them and then they will give it to you. They know best, um, just leave it up to them. So that's the first advice I'd like to give you um and then in terms of what to buy so okay at this point you've received the list and everything is on your side um <clears throat> do a bit of research about the people that you have been given the list um um just do a bit of research get to know the person what would they appreciate and all that i'm a person who actually loves um intentional gifts um so i what i did was just um, did a bit of research who am i gifting and their age as well so that i give them something that they um will appreciate so if you have sisters-in-laws make use of them ask them questions if you also have a relationship with your mother-in-law your soon-to-be mother-in-law um do speak to them as well they will give you the best advice um but mostly your side of the family um has a way of um, showing gratitude or they also have an idea of what to give them so do strike a balance there um, also just remember that you are the person who can help them with information because sometimes they'll buy something and then when it gets there it's irrelevant or they won't like it so do do your research and then take it back home and then um, so that they give them gifts that they will appreciate so that's the first um, advice that I have for you um, in terms of the gifting ceremony, which we, we, we call Umembe Eso. Um, and then the equipment to bring as a Makoti. Um, so, okay, firstly, before I get to, um, so I have notes here with me, so that's why I keep looking down. So I, I just wanted to not forget anything. Um, so first, before equipment, you need to sort out the outfit. Um, so the skirts, um, the skirts that you wear, um, that we call Igermani, um, there's a blue and brown skirt. You need to sort that out. So what I did, I sorted those out. So what I did was that because I have a small body, what I did was I had them custom made to my size. Um, I didn't, cause I couldn't get ready made ones at the shop. I have a very small waist. So I had that custom made for, for me. Um, um, so I got those, as I mentioned, I got those custom made for me. And then there's also a shirt and scarf that you need to wear. Um, and then there's also a duke. So there's a duke, um, a black duke with a white, with white lining. And also there's a shiny one. So the one with white lining, um, I got them from Sparks. People from the Eastern Cape will know Sparks. Mm, that's where I got them. Um, but the disclaimer that I want to mention in terms of dukes, just make sure, um, you know, the shiny ones, the shiny ones, you wear them um, after six months or a certain time, whatever um, you and your in-laws decide on. But um, for the shiny ones, sometimes they stain a bit. So do try and get um, and make sure the silk scarf that you get does not stain um, your clothes because I made a mistake and got one that stained my clothes. So do take uh, take note of that. Just wanted to make sure um, you you take note of that because it's it's it um, it stains your shirts. It also just stains your clothes if you've packed it in a bag or something like that. So do make sure that your scarf is it does not stain your clothes. Um, but usually in a Kosa culture, the first book you wear as a new magodi is the one with the white line. Um, and then um, I also wanted to make or I also wanted to mention that there's also blankets that Ikakato we refer to it as Ikakato, so you need to get that. So I've mentioned that you get Igerman, the blue and brown skirt, and then shirts, 
um, and then scarves that you put on your waist. Um, I'll try and put pictures. Um, I'll try and compare pictures of the things that I'm talking about so that you can actually get a glimpse of what I'm talking about. Um, and then where am I? Um, so, and also there's Ipagato that you wear. Um, oh, oh, actually, do not forget pins. You know the pins, like it is belly to do not forget those. Those are quite important. Have a lot of those because you'll need it um, for your blanket, for your scarf on your waist. But in J as a Marco, do you need a lot of pins as belly? Do you? you should have a bag of them stashed somewhere. Um, one thing I also want to mention is color coordination. Honestly, um, there are main things like the skirts, the blue and brown one, the shirt, um, but the blankets and shirts and all that, it's all about color coordination. But please, please, please do take advice from your husband's side of the family on what um, is acceptable to wear on their side so that at least what you wear is what's acceptable on that side. And I'm all about color coordination. So I just made sure at least my bagato is not far off from my skirt. Um, and another advice, um, you don't really wear a bagato for long periods of time. So one should do. I went all out and got two. But um, you don't wear it for a long time. So one bagato should do. That will um, go with your skirt and all that. But the color coordination is, is honestly not important. I'm just that girl um, who wants to make sure that his shirt and the blanket and the scarf and the shoes whatever go hand in hand but honestly there's no pressure for color coordination there um it just goes with preference but do ask your family in law on what um they expect from you um okay so let's move over to the equipment that you bring with you when you are oh my God. um so Basically, with the equipment, I want to highlight the equipment that you bring. It's everything that you'll be needing or that you'll be using that side, you know. Um, equipment, um, so basically things like your tea equipment. Because as a new Marco, when you get there, you prepare tea. Um, so it's basically everything that you'll be needing for being Marco tea. So a kettle, um, you'll need cups and saucers, you'll need a tray. Um, you'll need sugar, so carry sugar, you'll need tea. Um, as I did mention, it's so important to consult that side, what type of tea people like there um, in, your, in that village. Um, do they like rooibos, do they like five roses, things like that, so that um, you don't bring a chamomile, but people actually prefer something else. You get the point, yeah? So do research on that. Um um kettle pot um but basically whatever they drink um so ukuko as well bring that ukuko is a grass mat basically as a makoti you'll need that to sit down and ingobozi ingobozi is basically um it's made up of grass ne? it's used it's more like a bucket i can't explain some of the things but it depends on, on on the family i'll see if i can get a picture but i doubt i took a picture of it but in gobos basically um and then is tebe which is a a, a, a tray a, a grass tray um in the olden days they used it um it, it served as a tray so it depends on the family as well because some of the things are not used but in jay traditionally we bring them with so I brought ukuko, I brought ngobozi, I brought istebe, and I also brought ikuba. Ikuba, um, ikuba and an X, like the isn't. Um, ikuba is basically, what is it in English? I actually don't know, but I'll try and find a picture for it. But you bring that because um, in the villages, you'll find that um, they, they, they do a lot of gardening and that is used. And you, you, if, if that is happening and you are around, you also want to join in. So just bring your own. And then an X to basically, um, um, so it's basically um, something you can bring if ukawula, like um, cutting or chopping wood is something that your family does. So bring that as well. So basically in terms of equipment, it's basically things that you will be needing, honestly. 
so it's just to make your life easier as you join into the family so having all the equipment so it's quite important to actually consult um about the activities that take place so that you bring equipment that's relevant to what's happening in your new family hope you get that um but what i also wanted to mention is that as much as you consult your new family there's also a way of doing things in your family so do strike a balance get information from your side because i did because as i did say you don't want to get there and seem like you know everything you know um it's new you don't know anything so sometimes the things you bring are things that you feel like will be relevant for you so do consult your family as well i'm sure someone will be able to help on what you basically need so basically these are the things that i brought when i went um to ngobo's home um so i think i've covered in terms of what to bring um as i did mention i will try and put pictures so that you get an idea of what to bring but as i did mention oh my gosh Elon Moa. oh okay i hope you can hear me i hope you can hear me i'm so sad uh, oh um okay um i'll try i'll try and just um project my voice um one thing there's one thing i want to say as i did mention when you get there as a makoti um you bring your little stash of equipment you bring your little stuff um of equipment obviously you are going into a home and they already have stuff there you know you also don't want to get there as if you are going in a place where there's nothing you know you don't want to give that impression but there is advice that i want to give you in terms of cooking you do not want to be like obviously you have your own ideas of what um your menu will look like you know um but in terms of cooking you do not want to be scraping the cupboards and working with what you have sometimes being prepared is the most important thing so have your little stash bring your spices please bring your spices um the spices you prefer like because when you cook i love raja someone likes the mother-in-law spice someone likes six gun is it six gun yes it's six gun so um bring what works for you you know by which spice takes your food to another level so do bring that have that stash somewhere um um also what i want to say always have matchsticks in the villages or as lalini you always need to have matches in your pocket so have you can buy those big packs with a lot of packs of matches but always as a mako to have a stash in your apron always have a stash of that um and then also cleaning essentials your handy endies your soap your dishwash your jig for your um your dishcloth carry that carry that you know um it's just to help you when you need something you don't always need to ask you know because as a mako do you basically make things happen you know um so do carry that if you will need it you know but it's just a young stash obviously as i did mention when you where you go there will be stuff but carry a young stash of stuff that you know you will need you know um dishcloths carry that even if it's the disposable ones because usually when kukum timbi or something like that those can get lost so you can get a packet of the disposable dishcloths um i know there's the microfiber towels i love those so much you can use that as well but carry those you always need to have a dishcloth as umako because sometimes you're washing dishes you need to clean surfaces J dishcloth is one thing you also need to have um a knife a knife you don't want to be waiting on someone to peel and finish and then take the knife always have a knife stashed in your somewhere you should have your knife um and then come with a spirit willing to learn that's what i wanted to say or that's what i've also been saying throughout this video come with a spirit of wanting to learn as i mentioned you might prepare but the most important thing is that you do not know the journey like you you honestly don't know how the family does things so come with the spirit of learning um 
ask questions um ask 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 that's the only way you will know so come with the spirit of wanting to learn honestly you'll never go wrong you don't want to get there and same as if you've been married before and you know even if you've been married before but it's now a new family and you need to learn um the ways of doing things in this family so come with that spirit um no one is expecting you to know everything no one is expecting you to know everything your family was also not grooming a bride when they were when they were um when they were like raising you so they were not grooming a wife um but just a human being so your in-laws will show you how things are done honestly they're not expecting you to know stuff obviously there's basic stuff like cooking um um there's basics basic stuff like cleaning basic stuff like just taking care of your own self i think those are the things that um they might expect you to know but knowing how to do things on their side honestly you can never know unless you are there and they actually teach you so go with the spirit of wanting to learn um but honestly when you go there as much as i say go with the spirit of wanting to learn you can't go there as an empty canvas you always merge um the knowledge that you were taught at home with what you know now and then you 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 work with that um so um as i did mention becoming a makoti honestly there's no formula to it um it's just something that you as a human being um it's a phase that you 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 basically grow into um i've been married for a few months and i can't really say i've mastered anything but i just wanted to share this information for anyone who might need um just advice on what they can do to prepare on their side honestly this is what you can do to prepare um this is how i also prepared counseling um just consulting on what um the the attire will be and what they expect um and just go with a humble spirit and a spirit of wanting to learn and honestly you will never go wrong if you have any any other advice you'd like to share with someone who will bump into this video do drop that in the comment section if i left out anything so sorry um but this is what i thought i should share for now um i'll be sharing more of this um of these videos do stay tuned if you still haven't subscribed now please do click the subscribe button and i promise you will have fun in this family do catch up on the other videos if you'd um, like to get to know us um and yeah thank you so much for watching see you next time bye